I was 16 at the time, so I was like, wow, 1550, and I could get a raise up to 16, and I was like, this is awesome, right? So then I worked there, and it was really, it was really weird because some of the people there, um, they were. I don't have anything against gay people, but they were like really gay, and they were like like showing it too. And I, they had to like wear like a uniform, like a, just a normal shirt, like a black shirt, and I was the only one who did it. And I was like, what? This doesn't even make sense. And it was really hard because everyone there was kind of crappy employees and I was like the only one really really working hard right and again I don't I'm not gay I don't really think gay is right but I don't hate I respect I guess um but uh and yeah so some people would just leave their jobs for me to do and I and I was wasn't getting paid for doing their jobs I was getting paid to do my jobs but they weren't doing it and so that was kind of annoying and uh shoot i'm so bad at this and i one day i i oh yeah i also in the interview i said hey i i can't work late and i cannot work sundays because my mom wants me to go to church so i was like and she was like oh that's fine and one day i show up for work and she's like why weren't you at work yesterday or i think yeah why weren't you at work on sunday and i was like i was like i wasn't at work because it's it was Sunday and it was late and she's like well yeah that's what she's like yeah well that's what you wanted to work and I said what are you talking about uh, my mom told me to tell her not to work on Sundays and I did and the boss thought I told her she got confused and she thought I told her uh, that I could work on Sundays and I said I couldn't and uh, and she <laughs> And the lady got mad at me, so I told my manager, I said, hey, that's not what I said, right? And this lady was, like, the boss. She was getting paid a lot of money, like 30 bucks an hour, and she came in, like, two days a week. But I was working really hard, and and I was, like, kind of running most of the place. And, and, then, and then one day, I call up my manager, and I said, and no, no, my mom went into Panera Bread and told him and said, and he was like, and my mom help and then my mom was like uh, she went into Panera Bread one day and my manager was like hey I'd love to talk to Brandon we haven't really done we haven't really talked because they kind of started laying me off one sec bro they kind of laid me off a little bit without telling me first of all they didn't tell me they just laid me off didn't tell me I didn't get any um, any notifications hey one sec I'm telling a story what is it? Did you order this? No. No, uh, okay, sorry about my mom. And, and, and my mom went in there, and the guy was like, he was a nice guy, and he, and he told her, oh yeah, just let, have Brandon give me a call, and we can talk about it. And I said, okay. And I talked to, and I call him, and he was like, oh, I don't think we'll need you to ever come back, because we've just hired some new people. And then, and it was weird because I wasn't fired, but it was really, really crappy. The, see, like, and my hours were kind of in, like, you know, they weren't the greatest, but like, they could have just told me and said, hey, these aren't good hours. We might want to let you go. And I said, and I said, I would have, they didn't say, they didn't say that. I said, if they said that, then I would like, I would kind of respect it and say, okay, that makes sense, right? But they literally just, they they deleted they literally logged me out of the app where I check where my hours are and and they just never called me back ever again and they never let me know that I was fired so